So I bought a new car. I bought a new uh, motor vehicle. Not sure where I should call it a, uh, a car or a ute or a truck. Truck sounds good, but it ain't a nino, you know? So uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's a, I, bought, I bought a new vehicle. And, and this is it here, I, I got a thing, I put, how's that? Not 15 minutes ago, I posted a thing on my Facebook where it was a photo of this and I coloured it in with my shitty finger and made it all black so I couldn't, couldn't tell what it was. And then put a question mark in there and said, try and guess what this is, my new car, whatever, you know, all the stuff and that. And, uh, and I got notifications instantly, it wasn't up for 30 seconds, instantly. There was like five comments telling me exactly what it is. So uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You can just work it out since you all know. Um, yeah, I'm going to run it over. I'm going to run it over. I'm going to use, going to use the key to start it. It's the sort of vehicle I've bought here. It's awesome. I love it. I love this sort of shit. This makes me happy. These sort of vi anyway. If you couldn't tell, look at old Valerie over there. Just quickly. And now I'm going to go. I'll go. I'll go get the uh, vehicle. All right. Kick her in the guts. She sounds a bit advanced. Here I come. The, the front brakes don't work real good. And the back ones work really, really well. Oh God, it's loud in here. It's a, because I'm, I'm sitting on top of the bloody motor is why it's loud. Right, here we go. Let's, oh, let's get into it. Right, hey, so there she is, in all the glory. I'll go give you the run around and show you exactly what she's all about. Boom. Um, <laughs> that, 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 that's it. So she is a CF Bedford truck powered by a 186 Holden red motor. God's engine. <laughs> or not. Um, yeah, she's beautiful. It's just uh, the paint. That is paint, believe it or not. Because I, I bought this... Uh, I bought this truck off Wayno, Wayno over there. He was doing a bit on it and whatever, and it sat for a couple of years, and and uh, he sort of hinted at getting rid of it, and I snatched her up. Um, so yes, I've he he had it, and yeah, the paintwork hadn't always been the best, apparently. You know, like it hasn't hasn't had a nice bloody due car on her for bloody probably 40 years or whatever. But so what he did, he patined her up a bit, you know, the old um, the, uh, the paint job. Uh, the, the paint was better than this before it was parked up. It was parked up for a couple of years. Um, before it was parked up, there was actually, you couldn't really see any actual rust in it. Um, but yeah, so he's, he's given her the, uh, the, the, spray, the spray rust. Done a bit of work, done some flamage. Done a bit of flamage in the rust. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, whether I wash it or whatever, but... Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I'll show you his inside. Inside. Your engine, you sit on top of that. That's my, currently my fuel tank because the original fuel tank uh, was all rusted out inside, which is, you know, hint, hint, that's what it's going to get, but uh, that's the old fuel cell off Mr. Mullet. But the original one was no good. It was buggered. I ain't going to try and find another one. Um, although, yeah, you could get sort of any fuel tank to fit, but... Currently, the, the situation we got, um, hooked that straight up to the fuel pump, which is good. Um, yeah, these seats, these seats aren't the seats for it. That's me bonnet, my inside bonnet. Um, but yeah, we got these seats. These are just sitting in here. I don't know what they're out of. One they would know. I think it's Commodore or Tirana or so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to say because I don't know what they're out of. But I do have the original seats at home, which will be going in. He wanted to fit these because they do. They look. They do look nice. But um, trying to mount them up would be a matter of getting the thing engineered for them to work. So no, we're not doing now engineering around here. We're not going through that hell scenario. But yeah, that's me dash. Look, look at the dash. Look how simple that is. I love that. That's beautiful. I'll probably end up. Uh, eventually, I want to do like my own sort of dash scenario here. You know, I put my own gauges and stuff in it. Um, and yeah, there's a there's a bit to fix. You know? So there's there's stuff I could buggerize around, make you know, putting it back to original, or I could um, make my own scenario that will be awesome forever. I did mention that you start it with a screwdriver because that 
believe it or not, when I bought it, I, you could hit the key and it'd go, but this switch is buggered, and this is also dicky. Anyway, I pulled that out of there earlier, and you started with the key, and you give her a tap sometimes wherever she goes. So I'll be doing something with that. Um, yeah, that's the insight. Not much to report. There's no really any any great deal of rust. Like all the rust that's in it is just surface rust. So if I get to it in time, she'll be okay. There's no rust in this that would stop me from putting reg out on it. I have looked. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's the cab and the engine -y sort of side of things. The tray, or the back, not much to look at. Four wheels, it's a dually. It's sick. Um, my first dually, other than our little truck we drive Mr. Mullet around on. Um, yeah, box chassis, that's boxed up. So, I don't know. I'm gonna build a tray for this, obviously. It did originally have a camper on it. I saw this years ago. I actually lifted the camper off with my forklift. They borrowed me forklift and that's over there. And I, I lifted him off and put it on another truck and off they went. So, um, it was originally a camper. Not gonna be a camper anymore. Plan is, I don't know, I've, I've sort of considered, do I do a step side tray for it? Or do I do uh, like a Mr. Mullet tray where I just box in essentially the the chassis and put a big set of tubs on there so you can see me Julie's mate. See the, the sick Julie. So I don't know, I'll work that out when I get there. But um, yeah, fuel tank. That's, yeah, as I said before, that's the old fuel cell out of Mr. Mullet. Um, that is going to essentially be mounted right there. Bit better than that, but that's pretty much what, we, what, we, what we're going for. Um, going to mount it to the chassis and then build the tray around it because, uh, you know, I don't need a ute. I don't need a truck because we have the Mr. Mullet truck that we cart the, the car around on. So this way just be a toy, just be a bit of fun. A bit of fun to just, you know, I like working on this sort of shit. So um, build it up, do something with it, uh, drive it around. Here we go, what's this? 1975. 75 model truck, CF Bedford, whatever. Um, yeah, so, that's the run around of the outside and the inside. Um, I'll put it on the pit and we have a look underneath it, because I yet, I'm yet to look at it. I haven't really looked at this thing. I literally, you know, I pulled that fuel tank off it and I made it run, which was nothing. That was just a matter of putting some fuel in it. Um, like that tank scenario we got in there. Uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, it ran, because because th this truck, believe it or not, I've known, I know the previous owner who I bought it off, Wayno, and then I know the previous owner before that, and the previous owner before that drove this from South Australia to Coffs Harbour in 2020 on a permit. So it's um, that's how I know it's a good thing. Because it's been sitting, the brakes aren't too good, drum brakes all the way around. Some of these had calipers. These has got drum brakes, the whole lot. So I'll be doing, uh, I do have to do some brakes or something on it. Um, I'll have to bleed them up. It just feels like they're not bled in the front, so I'll do that. And it probably needs some hoses. I might need some shoes or cylinders or whatever. It could, just, it could be anything. Uh, so I'll end up doing that. But uh, yeah, plans, it must be plans. People are gonna, are gonna ask my plans because they think I'm gonna do burnouts with it. And that ain't definitely ain't the case. This ain't gonna be a burnout. I'm just, just burnout cars are currently ruining my life. Burnout cars are currently the reason I can't afford a haircut or a gym membership for that matter. This will just be a uh, get her on the road and drive it around and enjoy it for a bit sort of motor car. Um, and then eventually I do want to paint it. And that's why I think I'm gonna go with the, a tray like Mr. Mullet on the back. My dad's trying to convince me to do a step side, build a step side for it, but um, you got to remember what it is. It's like a CF Bedford truck. Step sides look cool on stuff like old Chevys, old Fords, pre like you know, fifties and back. You know, sort of sort of uh, step side vehicles. You know, like I don't know. I've I've seen step sides on HQs, one tonners and stuff that they've done the step side tray on. I've seen them on Falcon Utes, like BA Falcon Utes and AUs and stuff. They look terrible. So. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do a step side. I'd rather do a um, a tray just like Mr. Mullet because that would be sick. And then potentially paint it red, the same as Mr. Mullet. So it would be like a little Mr. Mullet truck thing that we can drive around in. Um, Engine-wise, plan is, 
Now, I shouldn't put my plans on the internet because I never proposed a plan, ever. Nothing nothing in my life has ever gone to plan, um, except everything works out anyway. The motor, 186, good motor. It's a five-speed gearbox of some sort. I don't know, it's a Bedford gearbox, whatever. Um, because it's a Holden motor, I know it already has Holden engine mounts on the frame. So what I'm thinking is... If and when it happens, if this thing gives me any headaches where I spin a bearing or it blows up or does a head gasket or whatever, more than likely I'll end up putting, I have a Chev, 305 Chevy over there and a Turbo 400. So I'll put something like that in it just, you know, for the sake of doing it because it, it's really not that hard. Um, but for now, I just get on the road because if you over modify your car and you, and you go crazy with this sort of shit, it just, you will never finish it. I can tell you for free, never put too much effort into these things because, you know, you'll scratch it or whatever and it just breaks your heart, you know. You put all your effort into a paint job and then you scratch it, it just, it's shit. So that's why I like Valerie. Valerie, that is probably the, my favourite car I've ever owned, Valerie. It is just beautiful. It just starts and runs and I've had issues with it and whatever, with the you A know, breaking down and that, but I've got to go on. And this is going to be the same sort of scenario. Um, but I'm going to get on all the breakdown side of things first. Um, because Valerie, I just drove it and just kept fixing it until it was fixed. This one, I'm just going to fix it and it'll be done. As far as, you know, the normal 186 goes, I'm not going to um, go too much into it. But anyway, just put her on the pit and have a sticky beak underneath. Oh, someone's driving past, making me nervous. That's Harry. G'day, Harry. Um, right, let's go put her on the pit. <laughs> I think that's retard. It's even worse. I think that's retard. Open says, open says me. What's going on? Oh, I've locked it. Ah, there we go. Usually that door just flies open. <laughs> Good. Up we go. How lucky am I to have a hoist? Oh, God. <laughs> I love this little truck. This is awesome. Ta da. What was I doing? I'm going to need a torch for this. Where did my torch go? Let's use this one. You watch, I won't have any charged torches for bloody Monday. What am I? Because I forget to put them all on the charge because I'm a dickhead. Brakes aren't leaky. Diff, not leaky. The fresh paint on that's holding the oil in. <laughs> um, yeah, so I might have to do something with this exhaust that's been chopped off at the back. But when I do the tray, I always like to get a bit tricky with the exhaust anyway, so we'll, we'll worry about that then. We'll do something sick there. But as far as rust goes, like, that's just like the rest of the, the vehicle. That's just a bit of paint <laughs> coming off. Yeah, she, we're good. Brakes aren't leaky on the front. Um, bushes look all right. I run over them with a bar. They're all the top and bottom control arm bushes. Not sure how the ball joints are going to go, but uh, yeah, I might check them later. But that's beautiful. It's all, look at that big starter. Ugh, yuck. I hate them. They're shit. So there you have it. She's um, she's good underneath. It's reasonable. I'll have to check the ball joints and do like a good look over it later. But so far, we good. I'm definitely going to have to uh, run over the, the bits that are actually rusty. That they're not a hole. There's no holes on this thing yet. There's no. I wouldn't even call it advanced rust. There's just lots of surface rust that's made um, the paint blister off it. Places like that up in here. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll run around it with uh, a bit of rust converter, and that should buy me some time. Um, 
to paint it. Because I, I, don't want, I thought I did think about this. I'm not going to go all out and just paint it, V8, spend all the money on it and whatever and end up hating it. Or not only that, um, if I do all that stuff, I, you know, if I paint it and put a motor in it, my brakes are buggered for interest's sake. I spent all my money on my buddy painting my motor. I can't drive it because I can't afford to fix the brakes. So I'm going to get him on the road first, drive him around, make sure she's all good, and then we'll look at doing some silly stuff on it. Um, but for now, we'll just make her run and drive her around and enjoy it. It's my car. I'll drive it in primer. I don't give a shit. I just, I just like cars. I love cars. Man, cars are awesome. And what I like even more than just looking at cars is driving cars. So... Uh, yeah, and mind you, there's also something, there's something odd and something that I think is pretty cool about driving a car that looks like it shouldn't be on the road. <laughs> so that's me, the story on me, on me new project, me shit Bedford, mate, that, uh, you know, we'll get on the road, do some work, there'll be lots of videos on it, um, and yeah, we'll get it going and enjoy it. Um, yeah, obviously I haven't done anything on Mr Mullet for a while, just because... It, I went to Simonats, it got an exhaust manifold leak, I fixed that. That was not worth putting on the internet. Um, yeah, it's been sitting, it's just waiting for the next event, um, which you know, I'm currently unsure of. Uh, definitely brashing that, whether there's one before that or not, I don't know. I didn't want to get this thing out and do videos on it until I finished ish the Silver XR6. That's not finished, that is waiting for a track day, meant to be, I was going out Easter Saturday on that in that car where that happens, I don't know. But I just want to do some laps and do a video out of that and then we're going to look at doing some other stuff to it. Like it needs a diff and, you know, potentially some E85 or something. I don't know, I'll do something with it. Um, but for now, I wanted to get cracking on this. I'm sick of working on burnout cars, to be honest with you. I'm bloody... I'm sick of repeating my work, you know. Like I'd rather, when I build a tray for this, it'll be building a tray and then I will never have to look at that again. When I do a burnout in Mr Mullet, I'll just have to do another engine and then it'll cost me a freaking arm and a leg to do another burnout anyway so it is getting a bit much uh, so yeah that's the story with this this thing is gonna need a bit um, before it goes on the road like a tray and it's gonna need like accelerator cables buggered it's gonna need some work on the carby and whatnot it's gonna need I'm gonna have to put the other seats in and get the interior sorted um, it's gonna need a few different things uh, so, and that's all going to be on the internet, so, yeah, the introduction to buddy, the Bedford mate. That's the video, I hope you enjoyed it, goodbye, I'll see you next time.